Hey Rays of Sunshine, it's Evelina of Evergreen Art Dolls and welcome back to the channel. So it is a new year and so I decided to do a new type of video and show you guys my doll room slash art studio. It's also a she shed and my oasis. So let's go ahead and get started. I hope you guys really enjoy my doll room tour. So let's get on. Alright, so let's get started over here by the door. Right above my door I have this cute little sign that says love grows here. Here and I thought it's really fitting because I definitely grow in love for my art every day that I'm in here working on dolls and all of my handmade dolls are made with a lot of love so I thought that was really fitting to put at the entrance to my studio so it's just right above there like right over the door then as we come over here I have this shelf that displays most of my vintage um, african-american and americana uh, style dolls so here on this first shelf i have some of my precious moments dolls that i just really really love i did a video on three of the these recently on my channel so if you're interested make sure to check that out um, it's just my precious moments collection and then my thrift store haul also the second shelf I have this kind of Raggedy Ann styled Americana doll with her little um, watermelon basket right there I thought she was super cute um, right here is my damn troll little like baby doll and then this is a doll that I had from my childhood that um, says Bahamas right there and she has a bunch of little um, pigtails with ribbons in there then on the next shelf we have my my child doll and um, another americana style doll here that has like the um, redder skin um, i just really love her and my my child doll didn't come with this outfit but i bought it off of ebay and it has foxes on it which is one of my favorite animals and then i have this little crochet fox that she's holding and like i said in a previous video i love love to display my dolls with other like smaller dolls because that way i don't have to put the smaller dolls on a separate shelf it should save space and they look really cute together down here i have my tonner um tween scene dolls pretty girls tween scene dolls here that got repainted and restyled a little bit and they are beside my little lol um na 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 surprise dolls i really love these dolls because of their like soft fabric skin and so i had to get me one of those i know it's not really vintage or you know kind of um, americana style but she was just cute and this is the only space i have for her right now but yeah so this is my little shelf that i have next to my door and then we go over here and I just have a mirror up there and you know they say that mirrors make the space look bigger and this is a little she shed like I said it is a shed that was turned into my art studio um, slash doll room so yeah I have to make as much use of my space as possible moving on over here is my desk where I'm supposed to sit and do like finance type stuff and keep track of you know what I'm spending and what I'm putting into the business but I never really sit on this desk to do that I kind of just lay dolls here when I'm like packing and everything but um hopefully in the new year I'll use this for its purpose but let's get started with the top shelf so I have a lot of greenery type things on this shelf this is my little alley beans um, little creature plant guy right here he's super super cute but I have a lot of little creatures and pots and things on this shelf so I have that little guy and I have this Sun and moon little like fake plant things here that I really love because I think they're really unique and cool I got these from a thrift store here I got this little stump from Hobby Lobby and I use it just to display like my little minis and stuff for pictures and this is a little nest that my mom found for me at thrift store as well I have my little lip gloss out up here because my lips get chapped sometimes so yeah for the time being he's just sitting up in there in the nest here I have this little 
picture that was given to me by a really good friend of mine uh, where I used to work at an ice cream shop and I really love it. I love the quote on there. It says some beautiful paths can't be discovered without getting lost and I really love that quote and I think it's you know just so true and below that I have my little yoga frogs right there I do do yoga in here sometimes so I thought that was really fitting and they're just super cute little frogs and then here I have my little secret garden fairy door that I love also from the thrift store and my little creatures by Jackie Harder right here the three of them and my precious moments raggedy ann style doll there and she has like the strawberry little outfit that matches this little guy so i thought that was cute to put her there and then i just recently got this little corner shelf that my boyfriend put up for me and i just love it i love the corner shelves because it's a way for you to conserve a lot of space and display your dolls in a cute way as you see, there aren't any dolls on there yet, so that is a good thing because that means I have some room to grow. So those are just waiting to be filled with dolls. And then I have um, this little like corner space, a Christian little corner space right here with some of my religious um, statues and figures. And then here is where I keep a lot of my paperwork, like COA stickers, um, things like that. And there it's a little junky right now, but but yeah, I know that they're, they're all here. So like COAs and business cards and stuff like that. Um, and then here I just have, you know, just some essentials, flashlight, measuring tape, stuff like that. Um, this is a cute little wicker paper organizer my mom gave me where I have some of like my labels and stickers, things like that. This cup that one of my best friends gave me that holds my pins. I love Bambi, so I had to have a little figure of him. And then I used to have a toy poodle um, named Trixie, so this is kind of like a little memorial of her. Candies and snacks. <laughs> um, and then I have, um, you know, my chair right there. And even this desk has a lot of spaces where you can put things. So um, this pulls out because it is a computer desk for me to put other paperwork. There's another little stuff right there and right there. My calendar, of course. And this is um, something I got from one of my best friends in Paraguay, South America. It says, uh, Vuelve pronto, amiga, which means come back soon. And that was one of my favorite trips that I had to South America. And so I really love having that there to remember them. And it fits in perfectly with my um, doll room. So I have that there. And then my whiteboard where I put dolls I need to work on and like I have measurements of like, you know, silicone measurements and stuff. I really love this doll here. She's kind of like a magnetic paper doll and you can like change her outfits and stuff. So I thought that was really cute to put there. Over here, I just have one of these storage. I forget what these things are called, but um, yeah, you can get them at Walmart and stuff, but you just, this one's on wheels and you can pull it out and um, just organize stuff in there. I have like some wigs and um, fabric and stuff in there. On top of it, I have some paper towels and just things that I um, use a lot of while I'm doll making or whatever, mold release spray, um, hand sanitizer, wet wipes, stuff like that. Another one of these little storage things I have on my desk and that has some of like my um, cards and things I send out with my dolls and pigments, epoxy, just stuff that I normally would use when doll making in hands reach over here on this desk. So this is a really huge desk that I got in the marketplace, you guys, for only $20. I could not believe it when I got this desk. It's super heavy and sturdy and just a really, really high quality desk. It's wooden on the top and metal um, at the bottom. It has a whole ton of storage space. Here I keep like my brushes and things and um some of like stuff to pack my dolls with and um and here i just have you know uh, pigments and glitters mica powder silicone stuff like that and there um 
is my chair and then I have my little oven right here so when I paint the dolls to fast cure them I just put them in this little oven there uh, below there I have um, even more of these storage bins I have actually three of them so there's one behind there as well you guys probably can't see it's in the chair over but there's another storage bin right there so like I said this desk is huge and so much things can fit like under there so I have three of those there with just a bunch of random stuff um, things I send with my dolls and um, yeah just different fabrics and ribbons and things like that in there then over here above my little oven I have this cute little thing that I think I got from Hobby Lobby if I'm not mistaken it's like a tree and it fits perfectly with the color scheme I have in my studio this is one another one of those corner um, wooden fence um, shelves and then I have this little birdhouse that I got from Dollar General along with these two little fairy signs. So this one says fairies welcome, fresh cut flowers sold here. And I also got this little bench from Dollar General as well. So you can find a lot of cute little things at the um, at Dollar General in the spring um, like plant section. And then like I said, I love Bambi. So I have a little Bambi figure right there with the butterfly on its tail and my mischievous little real pookie so-so right there and um, with my other one there. So I thought they, they would look really cute displayed right here. I got this little thing from the Dollar Tree and it fits them perfectly. So, and then just a little plant on the side right there that I got from the Dollar Tree as well. And then over here we have two mirrors on each side of my window and I really love these mirrors like I said they it looks like they add so much more space to the room um, visually and I think they're just really pretty I got them on a black Friday Friday sale from overstock.com and um, these are just little lays that I made into sort of like a curtain um, I thought that was a really cool idea. I had some lays lying around and added more to them. I just put a string across and then put the lays on there. And I can move them if I want to to like open the blinds up or whatever. Um, or open the window up. But I thought that was like a cute little touch. And it's pink, pink flowers and stuff. So I really love that. And across the whole top of this side of my studio I have these pretty little pink flowers they're um wallpaper stickers um that i got off ebay and all you have to do like people usually think when they come in here that i painted those but like i said they're the um stickable like wallpaper flowers and all you need to do is put them in water and then put them where you want them and then just kind of dry them with a paper towel and they stick um perfectly i have my little logo um, evergreen right there and then um, yeah like I said the flowers then we have over here my little lamp that I got only for ten dollars at a yard sale you guys I love bargain deals and getting stuff for cheap so <laughs> a lot of my stuff in here is free or just you know I got a super good deal for them I have another one of these corner shelves here that display some of my smaller cloth dolls and then these flowers I got from Hobby Lobby they're those really big ones and then just a little welcome sign got from Dollar General as well and then my bench right here that has some of my cloth dolls sitting on that and I also love dual purpose um, furniture so this is a bench but it also is like storage space so below that these little doors like I can open these and put more storage in those. So like I said, I really love things where if you're trying to, you know, fit a lot of stuff in a small space, it's good to have furniture like that that you can use, you know, like for example, on this one I'm able to sit or in this case have my doll sit on top and then also store things in it on the bottom. Um, I have this little chair and table set. I might move it because it does block access to the, um, to the doors of the bench but for now my little bamboo Vigma dolls are sitting on there until they get their own spot then I have this 
sign here that I love. It says, you're such a doll. It was made by Kelsey's Cradle, um, who used to be my favorite YouTuber in the doll community. She doesn't really collect dolls anymore now. Below that, I have these little hexagonal shells that I got from the Dollar Tree and I just made them into a sort of like a flower shape and I have my Friendship Garden Precious Moments dolls there along with this doll that I had from my childhood, my repainted little Enchantimals doll by Laura Waddles that I made into a fairy. And then um, if you guys saw my last thrift store haul video, I kept this little girl and changed her and put her there. So there's that. Then also I have this clock that fits in nicely with the color scheme that I have in here, the pink and green. And then I have my air conditioner and because, you know, I need a heat and cool cooling source in here um, because this is separate from the house. So it's its own little shed, pencil holder, tape. Um, these things are great. These cutting boards are great to put like heat guns and hot glue guns on top of because um, you don't really, da you don't damage anything by putting them on something like this so have that there another one of these storage bins where I have a bunch of stuff like ribbon doll clothes um, props um, some of my mini dolls so I store a bunch of stuff in those then I have this table that also has more storage space for like holiday props I keep my silicone dolls in there because like I said I don't really display uh, my silicone dolls because they do get dusty and things unlike some of the other dolls of diff other different kinds of mediums here i have this shelf that sits on top of this table and i have this little thumb sucking a damn troll and then the boy version and the girl version this is livy and she's holding little um little monchichi like I said, I love for my larger dolls to hold smaller dolls and creatures and things because it saves a lot of space. Here I have this little paperweight that says be beautiful. And on this next little shelf, I have my wooden dolls that I got from Honduras that were hand painted and carved. I have my little um, Navi inspired polymer clay doll from when I first started doll making there. I also have my cards just displayed here in case someone wants to get one when they come in. My little fairy polymer clay and dragon polymer clay dolls. Um, this one's by Dinky Dragons. Then we have my Neopets Akara because I used to be obsessed with Neopets when I was younger. So I definitely had to get her there and my fairy from the fairy makers in her little jar. All right, next shelf up, we have this cute little picture of my puppy that's not much of a puppy anymore. Um, and my Betty Boop kind of little corner right there. I love Betty Boop as a kid. I still love Betty Boop to this day, but this is a little baby Boop and just, she's super cute. Here I have my nylon um, doll with her own little doll and this is was made by one of my followers. I need to check up and see if she's still making them because I think they are really, really pretty and handmade by from twigs and stuff like that. So really cool. And then um, this flower picture frame that has my mom in it with one of her dollies. And then on top, I have one of these um, little like bird cages that I got from Marketplace as well. And it's housing two of my silicone dolls um, by Cutie Patooties by Anna in there. And I thought it looked just looked really nice on this shelf. And I have my speaker in here because your girl got to turn up sometimes or just when I want to listen to music, I just play it on there. And uh, this is funny because my boyfriend came in the other day and said that I literally am obsessed with um, <laughs> like putting things to my stuff. Like even my floss water has flowers on it. And he was like, that's crazy that you have flowers on your floss water. But um <laughs> But yeah, I thought that was just funny because it's so true. I have flowers like everywhere in here. This is one of my favorite corners of my doll room slash studio because I really love these three pieces of artwork. Um, this one is Neytiri, um, the character in Avatar, the movie, and she's under Mother Tree with her little Awas around. So if you guys see the movie, this is kind of like 
sort of like a tree of life kind of concept. And so she's under like a willow type tree there. Then over here, I have my favorite Disney princess, Pocahontas, under Grandmother Willow, if you guys seen that movie. And so they kind of have a lot of the same theme going on in both movies. And then we have Deet right here from the Dark Crystal. So she is also underneath um, their sort of like Tree of Life. I forget what name it has, but yeah, I just love that all three of these um, movies are, you know, have these female lead roles and they're three of my favorite movies, like I said. So I really thought that was cool that they're all are like under like trees and things and sort of have that nature vibe and feminine vibe to them so I really love that and then I have these two shelves that I got from Wish they're kind of flimsy or were a little hard to put together but they serve their purpose for the lightweight things that I have on them so I have my Navi inspired um, doll up there with Stitch because they are the two cutest blue aliens ever um, and then below them I have my two mini ball jointed dolls my doll that I run from Alice and Amunica's Poupé's dolls there my little um, butterfly dragon from Dream High Studio and then my Earth by Through the Magic Door and then I need to put this uh, Dream High Studio picture of uh, Ruby in a frame um, so that I can display that better but yeah those are there and then right here I have my Nova, so my avatar inspired silicone doll. She's about 17 inches. And then she has her little uh, plushies, the Stitch and Pocahontas plushie there. And I love dream catchers, so I put those around her little bed there. And she's all bundled up because it's super cold and it also keeps her from, you know, getting too much dust and stuff on her. So she, lays there along um, on top of this little another storage bin where I have a whole bunch of just random stuff um, just like toys and um, molds and things that I'm not using and then here it's sitting on top of just a table and below you can see little feet of one of my dolls I just store more stuff under there because I have to make as much use of pos as possible with the space that I have available um, up here I have this well I have this really um, tall shelf and all the way up I just have some baskets and props that I use for my dolls um, I also have my Alvic Alvic uh, Princess Jasmine doll here and she's close enough to the other BJD so I thought that was like a really good spot for her but then she's also one of my exp more expensive BJD so she's under you know kind of sheltered by this shelf from like a lot of dust and stuff then we have here this little crib that has um, some of my cloth dolls that couldn't fit on the bench there along with my Monchichi and my childhood baby doll um, below them, I have my Reborn dolls, so, so my uh, Tinky Elf, my Sage and Flora Reborn there, my Alternative Reborns, and then Bipsy on this side with another little fox, because like I said, I really love foxes, and then their COA is right here in the middle. Below them, I have my Outsider dolls. I really wish I had another display space for them, but for now, since I don't have that much space, I have them on this shelf. I would like them to be more visible, but they're just right here for now. And here I just have a bunch of extra like plushies and goodies and things that I send with my dolls. And then below that, just um, some more like storage. Um, I love these collapsible um, like bins to put on these shelves because you can fit a lot inside of them. And then here I have, it's really, really messy, you guys, I know, but when you're making silicone dolls and molding, it is a messy process anyway. So I have um, like my mold sitting on here and I suspend them from this thing and suspend them in water sometimes. So I have the bucket of water there and a mat down there, but yeah, it's messy business dealing with molds and stuff. So, and I'm not ever sure when I'm gonna pour, so I just keep them all out here. And so, yeah, I think we've come to the end of the tour. I'm gonna give you guys sort of another walkthrough.
I hope you guys enjoyed my little doll room slash studio tour. Um, it's a really small space, but it's my space, and I'm really happy that I'm able to fit everything in here including my doll collection and then I'm also able to work and store all of my like doll packing stuff and everything I'm just really glad that I don't have to use any part of like the house or anywhere else to store anything everything literally fits right in this small amount of space and like I said it's my space and I just love being here and having my own um, you know space to do my hobby and doll making so if you guys are are interested in making a shed into your own hobby or doll space let me know in the comments below if you have any questions put them in the comments as well and like I said I hope you guys enjoyed this video I enjoyed making it for you guys please like if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe and all that good stuff I'd really appreciate it and peace love and blessings you guys thank you so much for watching bye